Hi there. I've got a little story to tell you. Uh, about a week ago, my children and grandson were here and we were having dinner at the, around the dining room table when the bell rang and the doorbell. And my husband said, oh my goodness, is that another package from Amazon? Well, you know, I have to order and buy a lot of things to show you on Instagram and on YouTube. So I think I get a lot of stuff. But I hadn't ordered anything and recently, and I couldn't figure out why would that be a package for me? I usually know when I've got something coming. But I said, I don't think it's Amazon. I, don't, I haven't ordered anything in weeks. Well, maybe not weeks, but maybe in a day. So um, I go, I guess my husband goes out and picks up the package and he comes back and he's got this huge, wait a second, it's really heavy. He's got this huge package. And I said, I didn't order that. That's not for me. I said, you must have ordered that. And he said, I can't remember ordering it. So I didn't know what it was, but we were having dinner put it down and I'll get to it later. Well, so we have dinner, go to sleep, wake up the next day and I'm thinking, what is in this package? So this package, right? You have no idea how heavy this is. So I kind of, I, well, you can't, I don't know if you can see this. I just can't lift it up. But I lift up and I go like this and I think, oh my goodness. Let's see if I can show you. What is this? It's packaged so beautifully. Whoops, whoops, can you see? I hope so. So I, I take out the tissue and this is gorgeous tissue. I've never seen tissue like this before. Look at the frayed edge, wait a second. Can you see the frayed edges? I've never seen anything like this before. It is beautiful paper. And I adore beautiful papers. I think as an artist, I really, this is an art, I mean, this is gorgeous paper. So I love this paper. Maybe I can buy it on Amazon. So this is, so I see the paper, I take it off and I look down and, oh wait, I got it. Wait a second. This is really heavy. Uh, okay, I don't know what this is made of. So I take it, I take the, the, pa the paper off and I look at this and I see E-L and I immediately know what it is. Estelauder. Estelauder. What am I getting? It's Estelauder. I've got to move some things around because it's really heavy. Uh, so I decided I was not going to open it up until I could open, you know, do an unboxing. So I did an unboxing on Instagram and then I thought, well, what about YouTube? So I thought I'd do an unboxing for, well, that's what I'm doing, for YouTube. I wanted you guys to see this. So look at this. So you open it up. Wait a second. Wait. Okay, here. And here. And look. Look at this. This. So I see these boxes. And again, I just, oh. They're filled with lipsticks. I'll show you in a minute. So this says, thrill me. What does this say? I can't see. Uh, I can't see what the name is. Suit up, power me, and I can't see the name right here. Now I've been reading on, you know, I subscribe to uh, Estee Lauder, and I've been reading about them coming out with new lipsticks. And you know me in lipsticks. You can never have too many. What they've done is they're redoing their lipsticks with new formulas, same colors, but the, the colors last longer. They're more intense, but they're the same colors you've been buying for years. So I, I'd seen this and I love the idea that it lasts longer because I'm, I still wear a, um, I still wear a uh, mask. And so it's great to be able to put on lipstick, take the mask off, and you still, your, you know, your lips still, your lips look great. So they are re, this is a new generation of, well, you know what? I don't know if they call it a new generation, but I think of it as a new generation of lipsticks. And they have all of these 
beautiful unguents in it. You know, all of these beautiful flower extracts or this extract. And they, wait a sec, you'll see that they go on so great. Now, I've got a thing for Estee Lauder. And it's because I really respect the woman who started this. She started her company back in the 40s and the 50s when, I mean, how many women executives were there then? Do you remember? So here was this woman. She went around to all of the department stores, all of the makeup stores, all of the, the hair stores, and showed them she personally sold her products. And she would she said that you need to touch people's faces so that they that there's a connection with them, which I loved. So she'd go to these, you know, hairdressers hairdressers or Saks Fifth Avenue, and she would stand there and put a little bit of makeup. She put a little bit of um, rouge, a little bit of powder and a lipstick. And it was like people were reimagined. They were beautiful. They loved just a few things made all the difference in the world. Now I'm wearing, I'm just wearing right now. I've got, um, I've got a lip pencil on and you're going to ask me which one. I don't remember. I've just got a very pale lips, lip pencil on. And I've also got some, um, uh, a lip balm on because I wanted to show you the difference of having a very, very pale lipstick that doesn't have a lot of color. Let's see. Right. You can say, you see, it's just very, very kind of dull, natural looking. I mean, it looks fine, right? But wait till you see what happens when I put lipstick on and what a difference it makes in my face. Okay, but wait. But, so I'm going to start with the pink and this is called Suit Up. So look at this. Look, isn't that fabulous? Let's see, okay, so let's open one of these. So this is Suit Up. Oh, it, now this is a matte color. It's matte, it's kind of, it's kind of a, it's not a bright color, it's a soft color. Actually, it almost looks like what I've got on right now. Um, let me show you. So they've repackaged their lipsticks, reimagined their lipsticks. So I've got to show you something that tickles me. Look at this. You see? See how the sound? And it, because it's got a magnet in it, uh, it's not going to come apart in the bottom of your purse. Love that. By the way, this is not an ad for Estee Lauder. This is not, um, I'm not paid to promote it. I'm not paid for anything. It's not an ad. It's nothing. It's just that Estee Lauder was really nice and sent me all of these goodies. Look. So, oh, so what I was going to tell you, you know, Lamborghini, you know, that Italian um, uh, automobile uh, manufacturer, he, they have a whole division devoted to sound so that when you shift from one gear to another, that it has a great sound. That's what these lipsticks are built on. I think it was Leonard Lauder that wanted lipsticks to have the sound of a Rolls Royce closing its door. Do you love it? Look, so it just feels solid and good, right? So let's look at this. This is, now I love this color because, what did I, oh here, I was looking for this. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm not gonna take, well, I did take it off. Okay, and I'm not, okay. Look at this. Uh, so it's almost the color I'm wearing right now. So it's something that you could just throw on and you leave the house and you've got a little bit of color on, but not that much. I'm wearing the Bobbi Brown um, Pale Pink Cream Blush. And did you know that, that um, Estee Lauder Company owns Bobbi Brown? And I've got a MAC pencil because, uh, uh, and MAC is owned by Bobbi Brown? No, MAC is owned by Estee Lauder. I'm gonna use, this pencil is called Soar. You know, if you got to, so I must tell you that my lips seem to be getting thinner and more crackly or liney. And 
I decided that when I was trying these lipsticks on that I think it needs a little bit of a, a lip pencil. So I got, wait a second. Now I don't like, I don't like lip pencils that, I don't like lip pencils that, that are dark and then it's, it's, is it 90s? But I think it needs to, you know, just kind of, and I think I now need kind of lip pencils to, to, to outline my lips. I'm not getting fillers, but I love it. It's a beautiful color. So this is, okay, how does it feel? So this is the interesting thing. This is a matte lipstick, but it doesn't feel like a matte lipstick. It's not dry, it's not crackly, it's very moist, and it's got all of these, I wish I could, I wish I'd written it down, but they've got marigold leaf and all of these various, you know, natural substances in them so that they feel um, wonderful and I think it, they're, they're um, moisturized, they feel great on your lips. And um, do they smell? I know some of you care about smell. I can't smell anything. I, I don't think they smell. I don't, but this one has a, I loved it. I love it. Is this the sound of your Rolls Royce? Sure. I mean, look, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so this color, I'm gonna keep it out, is 816 and it's suit up. Love it, okay. And what color was this? This is Mac and it's Soar. So I haven't had a chance to go and get, I wanna get, well, I'll tell you, I wanna get uh, lip pencils to go. This is Modern Muse. Oh, so this is the same color as, as suit up, but what's the number? 816, this is 8, 826, but this is warmer. Okay, now this, should I take this off? I'm gonna try two things. I'm gonna put this on, wait a second. I'm gonna put this on top. Let's see it, I love it. I love them together. Look at that. It's a little bit darker. It's not quite as pink, but it's got some warmth to it. It's beautiful also. So I like both of them. I like them together. Maybe I like this even better. Maybe I like it even better, you know, with two lipsticks. This is fabulous. Now I wonder what I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, now I wanna try, I wanna try this just by itself. Yeah. Just by itself, it's a little bit oranger. Or should I say warmer? So this is a little bit, now for me, for somebody who's got warm, you know, warm skin, this would be perfect. And this is, what is it? 826. But because I've got such a cool complexion, I'm gonna try the pink on top of the warmth. Let's see. So here, this would be, this is very natural also. Hmm. This would look great if I, instead of wearing a pink, if I were wearing something warmer, this is, this is really beautiful. I like this also. I would, so with this, I would wear probably a, um, a warmer blush. Okay. These look so good together and alone. I think I would buy both of them. I love them. I love them together and I love them alone. It really looks pretty. It looks very natural. I love it. Okay, guys, I love it. Love both of them. So which ones am I loving? 918 and 826. You know, and I've got an idea. Mother's Day is coming up. And wouldn't that be a great, I know what I'm going to get for my daughter. I'm going to give her some lipsticks and I'm going to give her beauty products. Everybody loves that. You know, I, I've always given my, sent my daughter flowers for Mother's Day, but I'm going to buy her 
all, you know, a number of products that she doesn't even have time to go shopping for herself. So some lipsticks, some hair products, some um, mascara. Everybody always needs mascara. Get her mascara, some lips, lipsticks, some, what else? I think she said she needed some um, uh, conditioner for her hair. So with the holidays, holidays, with Mother's Day coming up, what a great gift to give your mother some beauty products. As a matter of fact, a number of years ago, my aunt from back east came into town and she was older and she didn't have many luxuries, but I think we, where were we? I think we were in Bloomingdale's and she said she needed a lipstick. And I thought, perfect, let's go to the Estee Lauder counter. And they had, you know how they have those beautiful gifts? Well, they had a lipstick, um, some eyeshadow, some powder, really a, a, a beautiful box filled with with goodies for her. And I bought her one of those boxes and she was so thrilled. She never forgot it. She, I said, well, aren't you going to put the, any of the products on now? And she said, no. She said, I want to save it and I want to open them one at a time. So this is something, if you've got an older relative, you know, as a matter of fact, my eldest sister, who's 95, um, was really missing her makeup and she went out shopping with her my niece her, her daughter and they had the best time buying makeup and it really gave her such a lift so think of lipsticks you know how one lipstick can change your life you know I'm always thinking that there's one lipstick out there that's going to make all the difference to my life and that suddenly I'm going to be beautiful. You won't notice my lines. As a matter of fact, I was making up the other day and I was looking at all my lines and I thought, you know what, Sandy, you're too close. Get further away from that mirror because this is not, this doesn't look good. Oh, okay. And I'm just, okay, let, let me get back to this. This is knowing. Now this is a darker color. It's kind of brownish, which may not be great for me, but let's try it, okay? Brown is brown. Okay. Yeah, this isn't good for me. Ooh, in fact, it looks terrible on me. I don't like it on me. But if you like browns, if you have a warm skin tone, this is for you. So it doesn't work on on me. How about power? Thrill me. Let's let's try. It. Do you remember that song? Thrill me, Donna. Never let me go until you something, something, la da da da. It's got to be from the 60s. Da 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 da. I don't know what song it is, but I just thought of it. Okay, what's this? Thrill me. See, I love this. It's really bright. It's a bright orangey red. Beautiful. Is it, what, what is it? Um, is it matte color? This is a matte also. A beautiful red and let's see this oh this looks really pretty this is irresistible uh, love it love it oh my goodness oh uh, uh, it feels it feels so good going on now this is dark but I think it's beautiful because it's kind of got a, well, it, it, it's, there's a powdery color to it. It's powdery, yet it's pink, yet it's dark. It's beautiful. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I wanna see what happens when I, when I, um, you know, blot it. Let's see. I love this. Now, you know what? I, I don't have a lot of gloss. And I think this needs some gloss. So what, what have I got? Now I've got this balm, will it help? I need to get some gloss. That's what it needs. This is a perfect everyday lipstick. It's got enough color so that it makes, you know, the color is great. It's got, um, you know, it lifts up your face lifts up, you know, gives you some life. This is a perfect color. You could call this the perfect lipstick. I love it.
I love this. Okay, this is going right in my purse. And of course, I've already forgotten what the name of it is. What was it? Is it this? Irresistible. It really is. Okay, guys, look up 440 Irresistible. It's, it's got just the right amount of pink and intensity and a little bit of warmth to it. This is called After Hours, so I know this is definitely not me. This is really dark. So this, I know, I, I tried on a dark lipstick um, a couple of months ago, and I wanted your opinion, everybody's opinion on Instagram, and they all said, no. It works on some people, and it looks fabulous. What is the name of that actress that always uses... So if I looked at Thrill Me, and what about Power Kiss? Um, who's that actress? She's Australian, and she wears colors like that, and she gets away with it. Not me. Okay, Power Kiss. Have we looked at these? This is, I think this is going to be too dark. Yeah, too dark for me. Let's see. Uh, Bois de Rose. So that means Forest of Roses. Well, isn't that pretty? Oh, well, I have to try this one on also. This is really pretty. Bois means forest, and rose means rose. So I usually love rose lipsticks. Okay. Interesting. This is a... It isn't rose on me. It's got more orange for, on me. So it's got... This is pretty bright. I would never call this Bois de Rose. I would call this Bright Forest. If you want to have a Bois, let's make it Forest Bright, Bright Forest. This, is, this has a, a great deal of, uh, well, not maybe not a great deal, but it's got orange in it, and it's bright, and it's perky. Looks good. What's this? Oh, here's another pinky kind of. What's this? Stolen Heart, 669. Oh, see, this is going to be a good one also. But, oh, this is so pretty. Oh. Uh, uh, this is beautiful also. It's got a touch more pink. And it's bright. I have to get some lip gloss. You know that? I, I need to... Uh, and what color lip gloss would I get? Probably just a neutral color because just a touch. So you don't want to have a goopy lips. But if I put just a tiny bit here, it's another beautiful color. Wouldn't it be fun to, to name lipsticks? Wouldn't that be fun? I'd love it. Did I look at this one? Let's see this one. Okay. And this is Rebellious Rose. Now this color, I think that this is Estee Lauder's most purchased color and it's rebellious rose so let's try it on rebellious rose it, do i have a lot of color i'm going to get rid of a little bit of color on my lips so i've got some wait a second i've got some what is this um i think this is lancome and it's a little um it'll cover my lips so that i you know it's that the, the Lipstick has a fairer chance, so I can show you. Look at how um, how it leaves a, a, a stain on your lips, which is great. Okay, so this is Rebellious Rose, and for, if I remember right, correctly, it's the um, uh, the largest selling one of uh, Estee Lauder's lipsticks. Oh, um, well, I see why. It's beautiful. It's got, it's got, I don't know how I'm going to decide. I guess I don't have to, but these are, you know, this is a wonderful bright. It looks great. It brightens up my face. Um, it's another winner. So I can see why it, it's got, a, it's got rose. So this I think should be uh, Bois de Rose. But it's already Rebellious Rose, so why would you change the... Love it. I can see why it's very popular. You know, some of these colors... You know, you think you don't want bright lipsticks. And you, and it's not... There's something that... It, it's bright, but it's not... It doesn't... It, it's not terribly bright. So as I say, they've reformulated all of their lipsticks. So they're the same color, the same 
lipsticks that they had before, but they put them in new packaging and um, uh, made them longer lasting. And what else have they done? Um, saw and put more um, uh, moisturizer in the lipstick. So they've just, if you loved it before, you're going to love it more. I really sound like a commercial, don't I? Um, I don't mean to, but I'm, I'm, you know, when you, oh, captivated. Ooh, this has more orange in it. It's beautiful. But when, when you see something good and you try something good, I get very excited. And uh, I can't wait to give these as gifts because I want to spread the joy. It's fun, right? So this is more orange. Let's see me in orange. Now, this is really orange. Oh. Wow. Now, it really, ooh, it really kind of brightens up my face. Now, Michelle Wong uh, really loves, I, I, I didn't like orange lipstick till I saw it on, on Michelle Wong. She's a, a beauty YouTuber, too, beauty YouTuber. She's a big one. I mean, she's got a lot of followers. Um, look at the, this is so bright. What would I, I'd wear it in the summer with blue jeans and a t-shirt. So it's bright, it's, it's bright, but it's, it's cheery and, and it's fun. I like this. So this is Captivated, 666. Captivated. Love it. And oh, I love Defiant Coral. Okay, so let me try Defiant Coral. Now, if I know, I know it's pretty bright, but look at it. I mean, doesn't it knock you out? I love it. So you can either wear this with a lot of layers of color, okay, or, oh, it's even brighter. Wait a second. Look at that. You know, it may look bright here, but if I went out in the sun and I wore, uh, it would look, it would look great. It's perfect. I love it. I've always loved Defiant Coral. Love this color. It's really so pretty. Mm. It is bright. You have to have guts, but it's also so fun. And I like it with my glasses. It kind of, it does it emphasize them? I don't know, but it does something good. So I love, I love it. Okay, I love it. And this is Idol. So this, this is kind of like a lavender and I like lavender on me. Okay, the dark. So this is. Now this looks dark, but I used to wear a color like this uh, uh, years ago from Mac, and I always, I always uh, loved this. And then what I would do is put a color over it. So let me find this. This is what I was just wearing. Let me find. There's a pink that I adore. So look at this pink. This is 220. Powerful. Let me put this on top. And look, oh, it's, it's like the color of my, my um, top. So I, this is, so this is um, more of a pink uh, lavender color. If you like pink and lavender, this is for you. Look at it. It is really, and it's so, putting the two colors together, it is so, it's beautiful. It, I love it. What more, you know, what more can I say? I love it. And you know what? It does, you know what these colors, they don't look like everybody else's colors. They're, they're, they're very unique. They've got their own look to them. I mean, I haven't seen this color 
And when I, I do love mixing. So that's the same thing as an artist. Well, I am an artist, but you know, when you paint, you never put just plain blue down. You never put just plain red down because that's boring. It's mixing colors up. Even if you've got the best colorists in the world, mixing a color up makes it richer. And this is a mixture of, I hope I'm right. No, that's not it. Uh, this is a mixture, that's Defiant Coral. This is, this is idle and, uh, idle and powerful. Powerful idol. There we go. This is 220 and 688. These, this is a gorgeous combination. I like that other combination, the pink. I really love it. So I love this. What have I tried this on? This, oh, do you remember Carnal? Whoa, look at this. You can even see. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let me try this on. And do you see how each lipstick, it's engraved with E-L, and then look at the ridges on it. It's really beautiful. It's a beautiful presentation. Did you air? Uh, oh, my goodness. You want a bright red? Oh. Uh. So this is a bright red orange, it's called Carnal, and I gotta take this to book club. This is fabulous, isn't this? So it's a brilliant bright red. So even though, I don't think this is dark, I think it's just bright. Do you like it? So thank you, Estee Lauder, for this fabulous gift. And um, what I think I'd use this as a jewelry box. It's just beautiful. That's what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to put jewelry in it and lipsticks. So thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. I have. And I'll let you know which ones I wear all the time. I think, so what have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I've got eight. So I can wear one each day. I mean, yeah, well, you know, and, and you know, mix things around. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, thank you, Estee Lauder. <gasps> remember to like, you know, press the thumbs up, and remember to subscribe, press the red thing, and I'll see you again next week. Have a great week.